What is up you guys? I'm Alex with Bar Under the Stairs and today I'm going to share with you my favorite ingredient for making amazing cocktails at home. It's super simple and easy to make and it goes in literally hundreds of cocktails. The ingredient that I'm talking about today goes by a couple of different names and it's super easy to make. Uh, I refer to it as a citrus cordial. Some people might call it an oleosacrum or citrus syrup. Either way, it's a simple combination of citrus zest, sugar, and water to make a really useful ingredient that can go into all sorts of different cocktails. It's great in Cosmos and in Gimlets. It's great in daiquiris, whiskey sours, just so many different things that you can make for, that you can use this one ingredient to make all sorts of cocktails taste even better, especially in times like this where it might not be the safest to go out to bars or restaurants, but you can absolutely make amazing like bar and restaurant quality drinks at home with this really simple, really easy ingredient. You're gonna need a bowl, and some sugar. So this is just granulated white sugar. You don't need anything fancy or nice for it. Just soup, just regular old sugar. And I'm going to use two cups of our granulated sugar. So after the sugar, we need to use our citrus. You can use just about any combination of citrus you want, but my favorite and the one I recommend using is this combination that we are about to do. So for this part, you'll need a microplane. So this is kind of like the handheld version of a very fine setting on your box grater. These are one of the most versatile tools that you can have for your kitchen and bar. You can grate cheese, you can do nutmeg, cinnamon, citrus, all sorts of things, and it's just super easy and handheld and they're really easy to clean too. We picked this up for like $15 at the grocery store and it has come in handy so many times. So what you wanna do with this is you wanna take the zest off of your fruit and you wanna try to not get any of the white part, the pith. So the easiest way to do this is to hold the fruit in your non-dominant hand. For me, that's my left hand. Take the microplane in your right hand, get a firm grip, and then put your right thumb at the bottom of the fruit, put the microplane at the top, and just do a nice, even pressured pull, kind of like brushing your hair. And then give it a little tap, and the zest goes right into your sugar. That way, when all the oil is coming off of the fruit as you're peeling, it's going right into the sugar so you don't lose any of that amazing citrusy flavor. So next up, we're gonna do two lemons. Uh, the orange is gonna give us a lot of sweetness, the lemons are gonna give us some tartness and some brightness that really helps to make this a lot more versatile and a lot more drinks. So we're gonna take two of those and just like with the orange, we're just gonna take our microplane, pull it across the top and take off all the zest. And then after the lemons, we are going to do the zest of four limes. So the limes are gonna be the most kind of dominant flavor in this. It's also gonna give it a little bit of bitterness to really kind of balance out this cordial as a whole. And since they're a bit smaller, you'll wanna go with four limes. Uh, if you get those giant limes that are like the size of lemons, you can go with two, or if they're really small, you can bump it up to six limes so that it gets a nice, balanced diversity of citrus flavors.
Now that we have all of our citrus zested, we need to finish this by adding two cups of boiling hot water. So I have an electric kettle here and that's what I'm gonna be using. If you don't have that, you can just boil two cups of water in a saucepan and then pour it directly on top of the zest and the sugar. And what this does is one, it helps the sugar dissolve quicker. And two, when you add the hot water to the citrus zest, it helps all of those oils come out of it and it infuses the water and the sugar the same way you would infuse like a tea or coffee. So you add your two cups of water to your two cups of sugar and all your zest. And then you just need to give it a quick stir to fully incorporate the water, the zest and the sugar together. And it goes and starts it's a little messy at first because of all the zest in there. Kind of looks like there's <laughs> grass floating in your bowl of simple syrup. You just want to keep stirring until the sugar is completely dissolved and you don't feel any grain or grit when you're spinning around your spoon or whatever you're using to mix. Now you, all you have to do is let it sit for five to up to 45 minutes depending on how intensely you want this to taste. When I make this, I let it sit for the full 45 minutes, but it'll be nice and citrusy and tart and ready to go in as soon as five minutes. Now that we have completely steeped our citrus in the water and the sugar, all you have to do now is strain out the zest and bottle it. So I'm gonna take another bottle. This one also has a pour spout, which will make it super easy and a large fine mesh strainer, but you can use whatever you have. Coffee filter, wider mesh strainer, just something to get all the little bits of zest out because they have done their job and you don't need them in there anymore. We'll just pour that out. You can see that this is already turning into this really beautiful green color. And we'll just take a spoon to make sure that all of the citrus infused syrup is out of the zest itself. Just give it a gentle press. You don't want to press too hard. Perfect. Now that is good to go, and all we have left to do is bottle it. With your citrus cordial all nice and bottled up, all you have to do is store this in the fridge and it'll keep for a month to a month and a half, depending on how often you open it. I typically don't have that problem because I run through it pretty quickly. But this is great because it's taking full advantage of your citrus. So if you're taking the zest of this, then it's great for making any drinks that involve putting citrus juice, like lemon, lime, or orange juice into, because instead of using simple syrup, you can use this citrus infused syrup to really boost those citrusy flavors and make your drink seem really polished and professional. And citrus like this, once it's been zested, is really, really easy to juice because that harder layer of the skin, the zest, is removed, so it's easy to crush. And like I said before, this is great in all sorts of cocktails. I love using this to make margaritas or cosmos, gimlets, daiquiris, all sorts of drinks just taste a little bit brighter and better. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Alex and this has been Bar Under the Stairs. We'll see you guys next time.